how you doing? It's Jeff Sinker from Skype Guitar Lessons Online.com. Great to see you all again. Now, this lesson I'm doing here, it's for some of my beginner students. They've been saying, oh, songs you've been doing are a little bit too hard. Can you do something a little bit easier? Well, yes, of course I can. What I'm going to do is every Wednesday, I am going to post a song that is really aimed at the beginner, but it's going to be something that's been in the charts for a little while. So, so don't worry, all you other ones who are into the Iron Maiden and all the other stuff, there's still going to be them coming out as well. But every Wednesday, I'm going to try my best to put a nice, easy song out there so you can have some fun. But don't forget, just because you're kind of intermediate, playing a bit of rock, you still have some fun with some of these. This song is called Happier by Marshmallow, featuring Bastille. I think I got that right. Uh, yeah, turns about right. It's not a bad song, actually. I, I know I say that, oh, you know, it's wrong. But, so... We start off with an A minor 7. And you can see the little diagram there showing you what it is. Uh, if I just tell you, for those who are not looking at the diagram, you have got, treating this as 0, we have got first finger on B1, and then we have second finger on D2. Don't play the low E string. A minor 7, it's like an A minor, you're just raising your finger. Then you're going to play a G, standard G, see that, to C, you get one, two, three, four. Now this is where the fun kicks in. We are going to be playing this E minor 7th chord, and then we're going to change to an F major 7 with a C in the bass. Now that's the bit I liked, I did like that. Well, did like that chord change there. Now, don't worry, now, if you find that very hard, of course, those were the diagrams there. Let's go through that first one, E minor. Um, you can almost say it's the Wonderwall chord. Because you're going to hold down your, uh, what would be the third fret, little finger on the E, third fret on the B, and then you're going to hold two on the A with your first finger and two on the D with your second finger. So, on the wall chord, put the capo up on five fret. And then you are going to go to this F major seven with a C in the bass, uh, appeared on another one I've just recently called Brief, nice chord. So what you're doing there, You've got first fret on the B, you have got second finger, second fret on the G, then you've got little finger, what some people don't like it, little finger, third fret on D, and then third finger, third fret on A. Nice chord. Now, if you find that a challenge, you can just play an E minor, which is just two on the A, two on the D, to an F major seven, which is said uh, you're playing the same thing you're playing b1 and g2 and d3 and open e string it just doesn't have that same ring when you're to doing this where you get that don't get the bass tones so have a go at both of them now it does change the dynamics but the same chords being played all the way through this song. It just keeps on looping, but you get more drama, you get more beats, you get... Get that kind of thing going on. So you can build up the drama from your strumming, but the initial part, we're just centering on them chords, that one, two, and three, and four. There you have it. Information's there. Uh, was on the screen. <laughs> it's not there now, is it? <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed it. And um, like I said, there will be more of these. If there's anything that you would like me to do that you think sounds fairly easy, you'd like to play, 
Uh, send me the, the song title if I think it will fit in what I'm going to try and call an easy Wednesday. Then I will do it. Well, I'm going to let you go. Until the next time, this is Jeff Sinker from Skype Guitar Lessons Online.com. Wishing you well. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, goodbye.